Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. It is Worshipful Wednesday. I don't know about you. I've already thrown my hands up to tell God I thank you for being such an awesome and a loving and a wonderful God who's there with us in the middle of all of the crisis, all the situations that we might see, all the things that are happening in our world, because we know he is under control. You know, it's amazing when you know someone else is in control of things and you don't have to worry about it because they already have everything that you need. You can't help but be at ease. I want to remind you, my brothers and sisters, always know that God has it under control and all we have to do is trust and obey as the scripture teaches us to do. Look with me today out of Mark's gospel, the seventh chapter, verses nine through 23. Jesus is now finding himself in a dialogue and a discussion and almost a debate with these uh, persons who are around him. They're talking about food, about what you should eat, what you shouldn't eat. What does the law have to say about things? You know, it's amazing how you and I can be so focused and become so legalistic in religious matters that we forget what is the guiding principle that comes behind it. You know, oftentimes people will spend so much time focusing on what you should eat, what you shouldn't eat, what it does to you, what it what is good for, what is bad for, if you uh, ingest it and if you have too much of it. Jesus is now talking with his disciples and these that are around him. He talks about it's not the food that goes in you that defiles you, but it's what happens when it's in you, how it comes out of you. Now, oftentimes we must remind ourselves, as Jesus said, food doesn't go to your heart. It goes through your stomach. But your actions, your thoughts, your motivation and your deeds truly come from your heart. Jesus is telling them, don't worry about what comes out of your stomach, but rather be more concerned about what comes out of your heart. You know, we live in a world today that we forget about heart matters. I'm talking about those things that um, has a soft place in our heart. And that is to do the things that God has called us to do, what he's asked us to do. Throughout the Bible, we find in both the Old and the New Testament, there's always uh, this uh, command, uh, this uh, requirement from God to all of us to take care of widows and orphans and to keep ourselves unspotted from the world. You know, throughout the Old and the New Testament, you can find that's a guiding principle. But now here he begins to tell them what is more important. It's not what comes out of your stomach, but it's what really comes out of your heart. In our text, we must remind ourselves that there are so many heart matters that defiles us. He talks about their immoral behavior, uh, both dealing with business, unethical. He talks about their sexual promiscuity. He talks about all of those things that gratifies one flesh, those things that leads us down a path that God would not be glorified if we continue to travel. So he begins to talk about why do you do what you do? It's because of how you feel in your heart. Today, my brothers and sisters, may all of us on this Worshipful Wednesday examine our hearts, examine our motivations behind why we do what we do. You know, whenever you give a snide remark at someone, it came out of your heart. Whenever we say a harmful word to someone, it comes out of our heart. Whenever we criticize and make someone feel down so we can fill up. It comes out of our hearts. So Jesus is saying, let's let encouragement come out of our hearts. Let's words of affirmation come out of our hearts. Let's tell people words of encouragement to let them know that God is exceedingly and abundantly blessing you. All you have to do is turn around and see it. My brothers and my sisters today, I want to ask you what's coming out of your heart. I hope and pray is the love of God and I hope and pray that's what you feel coming out of my heart. May God bless you, heaven smile upon you, and I'll see you on tomorrow. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org, and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. 
Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Fountain.